I'm working in the New Perspectives Microsoft Access 2010 textbook. I'm picking up on page AC89 Tutorial 2. This is the fourth video in a series. The three prior videos take you through the first part of Tutorial 2. We're being asked to add data to a table by importing a text file. We created the table in the last segment and at the end of the segment I did instruct you to make sure that you followed the remainder of the steps up to page 88 so that your fields were correct and in the correct order and that you added the first two records. So we have customer ID, company, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, email. To look at that in design view, again customer ID, company, first, last, phone, address, city, state, zip, and we can see the captions have been removed from the fields that have one name, one word in their field name. And we've added captions where we might need them, where last may be a little bit confusing, so we make sure that our user knows that last means last name and we're to enter the, com the cus contact's last name. So now I want to make sure this table is closed, and I'm going to import a text file, so I'll click on external data and I'll find text file in my import and link group. And again, by clicking text file, it's automatically going to be looking for files that have the a text file extension. So I'll browse out to see what I can find. Here's customer.txt or TX, TXT. Yes, let's get that straight. I'll make sure it's selected open. I'm going to append a copy of the records to the table customer. Make sure that the correct table is selected and I'll click OK and it's going to walk me through. We can see that we're looking at a comma delimited file. How do I know that? I see the commas. Where you see comma 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 then we come down here and now we have um, one comma what these two commas mean is that there's no company name. So when I click Next, you'll be able to see that. See how now it's been divided into columns that makes it easier to, to see. I'm going to go back. You see there's a comma, nothing, and a comma. When I come forward, we see that because there is no company name, the two commas still have to be there, or the fields would all move over to the left and screw up my data when I do the import. Click Next. It's going to import to the customer table. Click Finish. Hopefully everything will work fine here and I'll end up with those records inside of my customer table. I don't need to save these steps unless this is something I'm going to be doing on a regular basis. Close. Let's take a look at the customer table. According to our textbook we should end up with 40 records. I ended up with 40 records and I see no paste errors table in my navigation. Now I'm going to resize these and just take a look. That looks fine. The names look fine. And we'll go over to the address and I'll resize the address. You could select all of them and resize them at one time, but because I'm working in such a small window and access resizes to the current view, I have to actually resize them one at a time. So that's looking good and I'll go over and take a look at the email. And that's looking good. And since I made changes to the design of the table, I'll need to make sure that I save and I'll close. So we've created in the first four segments all three of the tables that we need. In the segment to follow, we're going to set up referential integrity and create the relationships between these or among these three tables that we've created. That's the end of this segment.